So I'm back again. Um, <clears throat> I've just added my lye solution to my oils and my milk. And I'm just whisking this to get it to emulsify. Uh, today I'm using Poison Crocus by Nature's Garden. I haven't used it before. It's not supposed to discolour or accelerate or rice or cause any problems. So hopefully all goes well. And I'm going to be doing a tilted wall pour, um, tilted ombre wall pour in purple and green. So my base is going to be green, which I will just pour now. I've got uh, my lime spider mica from My Mica Obsession mixed with a little bit of olive oil. And I'll just add a little bit of my batter. Add the rest. Then I'll give it a stick blend. I have a tea towel that I've just rolled up and that will support my mould um, on an angle. These are really good, these are candle making jugs with a long spout so really good for um, helping you direct exactly where you want your soap batter to go. I can't remember where I got them, I think it might have been, I think they're called candle science. So that's just my base. So poison crocus are uh, called that for a reason. They're highly toxic to dogs. I don't know whether um, whether we have them in Australia. I'm not sure. I've never actually heard of them before. I just um, googled them to work out what my colour palette would be for this soap, and yeah, found out that they're very toxic which is probably why they're called poison crocus. They are a very beautiful flower, but yeah, just also toxic. So I'm just gonna leave that there while I get ready for my next layer. So what I'm gonna do next is pour off Fill this all, almost all the way to the top and that will be my purple base and I'm using a magic violet mica which I'll put in now. So um, I have some titanium dioxide mixed with water for the rest of my batter here. I'll give both of these a quick stick blend. So that's quite dark, which is what I want, because we're going to start very dark and work our way down to very pale purple. Hopefully the description on the website is correct and it doesn't accelerate. So to start, we'll put some purple. Oops. And then I'll add, so I've put about a third, I'll add a little bit of white. And I'm just going to mix this with my spatula. I don't want it, I don't mind it being um, not perfectly blended. I don't mind the little streaks of white as we move up 
up the uh, mold. And do the same again. So I've poured in about a third again. Add some more of my white. 